Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we're looking at a biggie. We're taking a look at the world of Halo Warthog with Master Chief and UNSC Marine. So this includes two figures, as you can see up here. All right, so some clarification on this specific set. All right, so to the best of my knowledge, um, what you're looking at here is not the standard retail release of the Warthog. Uh, from my understanding, um, the Warthog that includes two figures, the Master Chief and the Marine, it's exclusive to Amazon. Whereas the standard set that you might find like at Target, um, I believe only comes with just the Master Chief figure. And that's what I think the major difference is. And besides that, there's also a price difference. Um, I want to say the standard retail release with only master with only Master Chief is I want to say I think it's thirty nine dollars. I think that's the suggested um, uh, retail price. And this Amazon exclusive set with the two figures um, I believe is forty nine dollars. And not to be confused, I just found this out today. I think GameStop sometime at the end of January. Um, they're getting a 20th anniversary uh, exclusive box set of the Warthog. And that one comes with Master Chief and the Arbiter. And I want to say that might retail for $49 also. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. So yeah, there's different ver versions of this. Uh, this one I got on Amazon. Hence, you know, it comes with the two figures. All right, so what we're looking at here, this is the Warthog. It's kind of like the trademark iconic vehicle from the Halo games. Um, this belongs to the World of Halo line of action figures. And that's not to be confused with the Spartan collection. The Spartan collection is more about the section scale figures. Whereas the World of Halo figures, that's a smaller, I believe, 4-inch scale action figure. Um, this is a pretty large box. Um... Uh, as you can see on the front, really cool graphic. You have Master Chief driving it. And uh, um, it's kind of odd because even though this is supposed to come with a Marine, that's a, not a Marine. That's another Spartan armor. Oh, yeah, real quick. Also, I believe with the um, uh, retail version, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in this corner here, there's actually a, a window. And I think you, you see the actual action figure. But with this exclusive two-figure set, you don't see the window and you don't see the figures at all. On the back, um, very lazy <laughs> package design. Um, all you see is Master Chief running. You know, you don't. There's no description of of the Warthog, no description of the Halo universe, nothing about Master Chief. Is this Master Chief running? And as you can see, Amazon shipped me my my package, and this whole thing was wrecked. <laughs> so that sucks. Um, so we're gonna unbox this soon. And just to be honest with you, um, I unboxed this 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 toy earlier today, and that was more so just to make sure everything was in the box and to make sure it wasn't damaged. Because uh, as soon as I took this out of the the mailer box, I saw this giant like wrecked back and i'm like I, I need to make sure the toy is okay so um, i went ahead and unboxed it earlier just to make sure there was no damage and another odd thing was is that my toy here over here it was actually double taped so there was you know a, a double taped package is you know the toy i mean the box is initially taped with one piece of tape but then for whatever reason at the manufacturing plant they have to reopen it and then Retape it. So what I'm guessing is that with the reason why this was double taped, it's not because it was a returned item. I have a feeling that this was double taped because um, they might have had to do a, a visual check to make sure that there were actually two action figures in here. Because I've read some of the comments in like in the Amazon reviews for this. Like even though this is described as and being advertised coming with two figures, some people have actually gotten this set and it only came with one figure. So what I'm guessing is what happened is that at the manufacturing plant, um, they probably reopened up the boxes and just made sure that every set had two figures. 
as indicated on the front of the box. So, you know, over here it says two figures. So I have a feeling that's the reason why this was double taped. I'm guessing they had to reopen it, you know, just do a head count, make sure everything was in there, and then just reseal it. All right, so with that being said, let's get this open. Uh, like I said, I opened this up earlier today, but I have not assembled it yet, so. All right, so this is why it's an exclusive. Um, it comes with two figures as opposed to one. So as you can see here, we have Master Chief, and then we have the Marine. Um, so I don't believe I don't believe they come with weapons. I believe it's just the figures themselves. Uh, the Marine has a pistol here, but it's I think it's just sculpted onto his leg. I don't think you can actually remove that. Over here is the instruction manual. It's pretty self-explanatory. Step one, attach all the wheels to the warthog. Step two, uh, take the gunner station and slab it onto the back. Plain and simple. All right, so first impressions of the toy outside of the box. I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. Um, I grew up on the three and three quarter GI Joe figures as a child, and one of my favorite vehicles was the Vamp, which is kind of like that GI Joe Jeep um, kind of deal. You know, it kind of came with clutch. It kind of had that like uh, gun station in the back. It's, I mean, this is kind of very reminiscent of that, and I love that toy as a as a kid. All right, the nice weight on this thing. It feels pretty solid. Um, the detail, just by looking at it right now, very impressed. Um, to the best of my knowledge, you know, I'm not a, a super hardcore expert when it comes to the Warthog, but, you know, all the bells and whistles, the shape of it, the profile, it, it all looks to be there. Um, some years ago, McFarlane Toys released a Warthog for um, their line of Halo figures. Uh, that one looked pretty cool. Um... Mattel, Mattel had the Halo license some years back. They had a line of 6-inch figures, and I believe also 12-inch figures. And I think for their 12-inch figures, I think they might have made us like a giant warthog. I never saw it in person, but I've, I've seen pictures of it online. That looks really cool. But this is really nice. You know, the detail on this looks excellent. Especially the interior. You know, with the dashboard, the steering wheel. I mean, just look all that. It looks great. The paint application looks decent. Um, it would have been nice that if, you know, instead of getting this green plastic, if they actually painted, like, maybe a much more metallic green finish on this. But, you know, for what it is at this price point, it's all right. Uh, there's a grapple and winch sculpted onto the front right here but it's not functioning which is unfortunate uh, there's a small baggie here okay so I take it back they do include accessories for uh, Master Chief and the Marine um, there's a couple of weapons and there's also a couple of uh, gas canisters here too which I'm guessing probably plug into somewhere on this vehicle all right, we'll set this aside for now. All right, I don't want to get crazy and wreck the box, just in case I want to, you know, maybe restore this. Um, All right, here's the gunner station. It looks pretty neat. Now let's take this out.
That's really nice. Yeah, the crest is kind of like printed onto the shield. All right, let's remove the wheels. Um, how do we do that? Okay, how do we remove the wheels without wrecking the package, if that's possible? All right, so the cardboard, if you're curious, is glued on, so you kind of have to like use some force. All right, so we have four wheels. Um, let's get this arranged so it looks kind of cool. All right, so we have four wheels here. Um, one, two. And then we have the gunner station here. All right, so uh, we have that. Now let's take a look at what's in this little uh, little baggie. All right, we have these little canisters. I believe they give us one, that's two. Three and then uh, four. Um, we got a rifle here. Um, it's kind of unfortunate because the paint application on the rifle is kind of, feels kind of bare minimum. Because I want to say I think on the actual solo release figures there might be more a little bit more paint on it. I think. Not 100% sure. Um, as you can see, it's warped. You can easily fix that with some hot water. Um, here's the belt feed. I believe that's for the gunner station. And uh, what else is there? Uh, another weapon. Now, if you're one of those hardcores who can identify all the all the Halo weaponry, feel free to comment below. Um, the only weapon I just know is the Needler. That's the only one I can remember. Outside of like, um, was it the Sidekick and some of the other things. And I believe this is the antenna for the back. All right, it's kind of odd and surprising because the instructions here they don't list everything. I mean, they list the wheels and the antenna on the gun, but they don't necessarily state what's the purpose of the canisters. Because there's sockets in them, but I don't know if they plug into anything. So, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, but for now, let's just organize this. This will probably be the thumbnail image. Alright, so let's... Um, Let's get to it and start assembling this. All right, we'll start with the wheels first. It's pretty self-explanatory. Take the wheels. Um, they're actually numbered, I think. All right, they're all numbered number one, so they're all identical. All right, I take it back. All right, this one's labeled number one. This is number three. This is number four. And this wheel is number one. All right, so I don't know if there's actually like a stark physical difference between these, and I don't know why I don't have a number two. Yeah, as you can see here, number four, number three, number one, and then number one. 
All right, I guess, well, let's put them on. Let's just see. All right, snap in. Snaps in. Snaps in. All right, it looks awesome. Okay, so next, let's do this. So the instructions, all right, you know, you just basically plug it in, but they don't mention anything about the belt feed. And here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Large socket there, large tab, small socket, small tab, and I, I believe it's keyed in for only one way. So I don't think you can really mess this up. All right, so we got the belt feed on, and then just, I guess you just plug it in back here. I don't know if it... So it looks like this, it doesn't like necessarily snap into place. It feels like it's more just like really tight friction based. So the tolerance here is really high. So once you put this in, it's just, it just, it doesn't clip in or anything. It's just basically friction that holds it in and it's really tight. It's hard. It doesn't want to rotate. So I'm, what I'd, I'd suggest is get it in the position you want and then press it in because once it's in, it, it's going to require some force to rotate it. And I feel that if you try forcing to rotate it, you're going to, you might end up breaking the neck here or, or at least warping it. So yeah, it's a really tight fit. So for me right now, I'm just going to try to line it up. So it's completely sh straight this way. And I'm just going to push it in. All right. So this is where my OCD, you know, OCD gets kind of crazy. I, I want to make sure I get it perfect. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. It's not 100% perfect, but that's good enough. All right, so it's depressed in. Profile looks great. This is really, this is really looking like the Warthog. All right, for the antenna, I believe there's only one way to put it in. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's a perfect square. You just line up the square. And it plugs in. So I'm curious about these. All right, so some of these have pegs on them or it has sockets. This one has a socket. Uh, this one does not. And all right, so only one of these has a socket. Oh, I, all right, I see. All right, so on the back of the Warthog, there's these two pegs right here. Uh, two sockets. And you just plug it in like that. Nice detail. And then as for these additional ones, um, I don't know if there's storage for these or if it's just a fun accessory to have. Yeah, I don't believe there's any storage for these. I, I think these are just for show. You know, if, but yeah, I'm confused. All right, so now I'm confused because these have these have sockets in the back or on the side. So they might they might plug into something. But the instructions are pretty bare. They don't really tell you much. So I don't know if these plug in anywhere on the vehicle. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Well, either way, it's, it's cool that they give you all these extra accessories. Um, you know, in all honesty, one would have been enough, but it's cool that they give us, you know, four all together. Uh, likewise, here are the rifles for the figures. Let's get the figures on hand. Um, so we have Master Chief and we have the Marine.
All right, so we have the Marine here. Uh, this is about a four inch scale figure. And in the world of Halo, uh, Master Chief, when he's in the Spartan armor, um, according to some fictions, I believe he comes in at seven feet. So as you can see here, it's a huge height difference, but you know that's just how it is in the game. Um, so yeah, he's a considerably taller character because of the armor. I don't know if that's going to freak some people out <laughs> because, um, you know, in the game when he's running around most of the time, he's not. it's not like he's necessarily near other human people. He's always fighting like, you know, brutes and jackals and stuff. So, you know, there's never like a normal size comparison, but yeah, he's supposed to stand at least seven feet tall. So it feels like it's a little bit taller than that. It seems like this guy should have been a little bit bigger. Um, in terms of articulation for the Marine, wow, a lot of head movement. Um, his head looks down, looks up, rotates. Very impressed with that. His arms rotate. They go out to the side only a little because the shoulder pad hits the armor. Um, he has articulated elbows. As you can see, they rotate and they bend. Uh, articulated wrist. They rotate. He does not have a waist swivel, but he does have a mid torso um, cut, so he could like kind of rotate below the breast line. Um, he's, he could kick up. He could kick out. Uh, double jointed knees, right there, and ankle articulation, really nice. Uh, so let's have him seated in the front of the warthog. Um, It looks like the Warthog is spacious enough, so if you wanted to, you know, with Master Chief being as big as he, as he is, it looks like you'd have no issue fitting Master Chief in the driver's seat if you wanted. But let's, for, for this demonstration, let's at least put the, the, the Marine. As you can see, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of room, almost too much room. And if you lean him all the way back, his arms won't reach the steering wheel. But that's all right. Um, as long as it fits Master Chief, I think that's the important thing. You know, if you want this guy in the gunner station, um, he has sockets in his feet, and there's actually a peg right there. So you can just peg him in. And then he can man the gunner station like that. Very cool. Um, in terms of Master Chief, um, I want to say this is the same figure that you've gotten multiple times already. Um, here's one of the later releases of Master Chief. This is from uh, Series 4. All right, I'm not 100% sure, but for some reason, I want to say this one has actually a sharper... Uh, sculpt than this one. I believe they're they're the exact same figures, but um, this one the sculpting seems a little bit crisper. I'm not sure if, if that's because this is series four that down the road that this mold's been reused so many times that the sculpt eventually gets soft. But this one looks to be a lot crisper in in the edges. The edges look a little bit harder than this one. Uh, likewise, the paint application. Um, this one's green's a little bit richer than that one. I've reviewed this vi uh, figure in a previous video, so check that out if you're curious. In terms of the weapons, I believe the weapons are the same. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, um, the the rifle that comes with the Warthog, you know, very minimal paint application. Whereas on the Solo figure, you could see that they really went ahead and painted more of the details on the gun. But I believe these are the same figures overall. Um, in terms of this guy's articulation, if you haven't watched that video, um, his head rotates. He, wow, this one has a lot more motion than the other one. So the other figure I reviewed, I don't remember the head being this like, you know, having this much range of motion. Uh, his arms rotate, they go out, but the armor clips right there, so it gets in the way. Um, he has elbow bend, elbow swivel, wrist articulation. 
Uh, like the Marine, he has a cut mid torso below the breast line, so he can like rotate a little. Legs kick up, they kick out, double pinned knees, uh, ankle articulation as well. Yeah, this is a very solid figure for being a. So this one I believe measures in at five inches. This guy I'm guessing measures in at four. Um, let me get a ruler real quick. So the Marine comes in at roughly four inches. Master Chief comes in at about uh, a little under five. Um, this guy has a socket in the back, peg on the rifle, so you can store the rifle on his back. That's a plus. Um, same with the Marine, socket in the back, peg on the rifle. So you can store his weapon. All right, how well does Master Chief fit in the Warthog? Let's take a look at that. Yeah, pretty decent fit. All right, speaking of the Warthog, let's come back to the Warthog and just examine this a little bit more closely. All right, so here's a profile view of the Warthog. Um, as you can see, it really retains the iconic shape. Um, as we look a little bit closer, so you can see the back of the bed here um, where the gunner station is. Here's the roll bar. Um, I do kind of have some gripes with the plastic they're using for the windscreen. Um, I kind of feel like it's a little cloudy. It's a little, I don't know, if this plastic here feels a little, I don't want to say generic. Um, it almost looks like the same kind of plastic they'd use for like a water bottle, if that makes any sense. I I, I kind of would have preferred a, a clearer plastic, but darker in hue, if that makes any sense. This one kind of feels a little cloudy. Uh, the details are really well done. You know, if you look at the whole, the whole of the vehicle, it just looks incredible. All the details nice and sharp. I do appreciate that all these image, like all the graphics are screened onto the plastic itself. It's not like a decal or sticker that you have to apply. Dashboard's very impressive. Just look at that. Steering wheel looks nice. Um, yeah, it has it's the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, the gunner station, um, this goes up and down. Like I mentioned, you could rotate this, but the tolerance is really tight. And, I, you know, I don't want to risk not necessarily breaking it, but I feel that if you kind of forced it, you might stress mark it. And I don't really, I really don't want to do that. On the back, um, nice diamond plating, by the way, on here. Unfortunately, this compartment here doesn't open. It'd be nice if this storage bin here opened up. Um, it's cool that the gas canister here could come off. Here's an overhead look at the vehicle. Yeah, very, very solid effort. Um, I, you know, a lot of work went into this. I think this thing looks amazing. Again, here's that non-functional winch. You know, it's just sculpted in and painted. You know, this hook does not come off. If you're a fan of like the smaller scale GI Joe figures, I think this would be a fun vehicle to add to your collection, especially if you want something a little bit different. You know, in some ways, this kind of reminds me of the old G.I. Joe Vamp. Nice big burly wheels. Um, the tires kind of, 
nice rubber tires actually so the tires are actually rubber it's really cool they spin well and since the tires are rubber they seem to adhere to the surface pretty well yeah great great excellent vehicle wonderful toy All right, so uh, let's talk numbers. If I had to rate this thing numerically on a scale of 1 to 10, first thought is an 8 at the lowest, 8.5 at the highest. Um, like I said, I'm not too keen on this plastic they use for the windshield. Um, the instructions could have been a little bit more thorough. I think for the price point, it's decent. Um... You know, forty dollars for this set does seem. A, uh, I take it back. I think the this one might have been fifty bucks, because uh, the Amazon exclusive one comes with two figures. So I I, I want to say this was priced at forty nine dollars. Uh, the standard retail release with, uh, like, if you bought this at Target with Master Chief, I believe that one retails for thirty nine dollars. So uh, effectively, you're paying the extra ten dollars for this figure, and that's how much the solo figures go by themselves. You know, they're they're normally priced at nine dollars a figure uh so yeah i mean for me I, I i wanted this set i wanted the set with the two figures uh 49 dollars does seem like a lot um in my head i think the sweet uh you know the sweet price point for something like this might have been 35 um but i don't know you know and i, I am glad i bought it i'm very happy with it but yeah 50 dollars for this and the two figures does seem like a bit much. Um, I've seen the solo release on sale in some places online for as low as $22, which I think is great. So for that, you're only getting the one figure and the, and the Warthog. And for $22, I think that's a steal. Uh, if you saw this at retail and it only came with the one figure, $39, it's, I don't know, it seems a little steep. And for me, paying $49 just to have the extra figure, uh, I don't know. That is a lot of money. So, But it's up to you. Like I said, I wanted the set with the two figures. So I was willing to pay that price. And it was through Amazon directly. It wasn't a third-party seller. So it's not like they jacked the price up. You know, that, that just happens to be the suggested retail price. All right, so let's wrap this video up. I feel like I'm like kind of I don't know losing it right now. <laughs> I don't I'm like I don't I don't know. I just got to I don't know. It's a cool toy. I think it's I think it's amazing. I can't get enough of just looking at it. It just looks amazing. Yeah, so if you're a big fan of Halo, you know, if you've been on board since the first game or even if you're new to Halo with this in, with the new game Infinite, um I think having something like this is really cool. It there's something to be said about having like an actual physical representation of something that you're affectionate for. And if you're a big fan of the video game, there's just something neat about being able to take something that's intangible on on this on the screen of your TV and actually have like something real that you can actually hold. You know, it's a fun toy. Uh, in some ways it's a excellent model. You know, if, if you need something to spruce up your 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 gaming setup and you want something to like to display next to your Xbox. Or even your gaming PC if you're playing Halo on the PC. I think this is, you know, a great, great toy to have. And if you have younger ones that are into playing with toys, I think it's great. Or if you're an older collector and you like this setting up dioramas in your display area. I think it doesn't hurt to have a cool vehicle like this on hand. You know, it's really eye-catching. And, you know, I think once you pick it up, you know, it's hard to put down. You, you, you just want to play with it. It's... It's really something special. All right, so wrapping this video up, uh, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, and most importantly, be happy. And I will talk to you later. Later.